Hi, I'm Sean here at Frame Destination. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to frame a picture. I'll be demonstrating with both a metal frame and a wooden frame. Before you begin, you'll want to decide on whether or not to use a mat. A mat can provide multiple benefits. They can accent the colors within your artwork, even provide an extra border between your art and the frame. They can also help protect your art from being placed directly against the glazing and can be used to manage size if you don't have a frame customized specifically for your art. And you'll need to decide on the right frame. Options are diverse, ranging from budget plastic frames to high quality metal or composite. Handmade wooden frames and or other high quality frames can provide the best protection for your valued pieces, including your fine art, priceless family photos, or collector's items. Visit our website at FrameDestination.com if you need high quality handmade frames. Our customer service representatives are happy to assist you in selecting the style that best complements your art. You can reach them at 972-479-1188 or on our live chat on our website. And if you've already received your frames and are ready to get started, here are five easy steps to framing your art. Step one, removing the contents. If you have a wood frame, bend all the metal points on the back of the picture frame up and remove the contents. This can easily be done with a flathead screwdriver. When I remove my contents from the frame, I like to use a microfiber cloth to prevent any kind of smudges or fingerprints on the glazing or glass. If you have a metal frame, use a flathead screwdriver and remove the spring clips from the back of the frame. Do this by inserting and gently pulling up on the spring and removing it. You can also do this by hand by gently pushing up on the spring and pulling out. All right. Next, you want to grab a Phillips head flute screwdriver and remove one of the corners of the molding by loosening the screws on the end. And we'll take off that side of the molding. And now we can remove our content. Step two, clean the glass and let it dry or remove the acrylic coating. If your glazing is acrylic, you'll need to remove the protective film from both sides of the acrylic. We leave it on to prevent any damage during shipping. Make sure your work area is super clean. Uh, reduce any kind of static on the edges of your acrylic by wiping it down with a damp microfiber cloth. Other kind of cloths or materials can scratch or damage the acrylic surface. Grab your microfiber towel. Again, don't use paper towels or other harmful materials and place it at the edge of the acrylic. Slowly peel the film towards you from one corner of the acrylic, holding down the exposed acrylic in place with the towel. Immediately place the exposed side of the acrylic gently onto your picture or frame contents. Now remove the other sheet of film on the acrylic. and wipe the glazing with the microfiber towel. Now on to step three, attach artwork to your mat if you have one. If you're using a mat with your artwork, the best way to mount your art is using a acid-free hinging tissue or tape, which will not discolor or cause damage to your art. We recommend mounting it at just two or three points along the top. For more info, visit the link in our description of this video, which will take you to our page on picture frame mounting. Step four, add the contents to the frame. To add contents, if you're using glass, use your microfiber towel and gently slide the glass into the metal frame or place it appropriately if using a wooden frame. When I am adding glass to my wooden frame, I like to use two microfiber towels. I'll use the bottom one as a cushion so I'm not dropping the glass directly into the frame. And then I'll grab the rest of my content And I will add that to the picture frame. You can 
simply gently slide the acrylic back into the metal frame like so. Now the only thing left to do is secure these and by to do that we'll add back the other end of the frame to the open side. We'll tighten these back up and to secure the wooden frame all we'll do is press the points back down to the content to make sure everything is secure. For an additional level of protection, you can add frame backing paper. This paper defends your art and contents from dust and dents and adds a professional touch to your frame kit. See our link in the description of the video for more backing paper options. Set 5. Attaching the hanging or displaying mechanism. With your purchase of a picture frame and at least one additional component, mat, glazing, backing, etc., frame destination will include a free wire hanging kit or you have the option to purchase one separately on our website. If you'd rather display your artwork on a tabletop, you can purchase one of our easel mates from our website, which I'll be demonstrating today as well. Easel mate is compatible with wood, metal, and canvas floaters up to 16 inches by 20 inches. It's also compatible with unframed artwork on wooden stretcher bars. First, we'll demonstrate how to attach the wire hanging kit. Follow this step if you'd like to hang your frame. For a wood frame, use a Phillips head screwdriver, attach the wire hooks to the back of the frame using the screws provided. Standard hook placement is about one third of the height of the frame from the top. For a metal frame, insert the Omni or Euro mounts into the appropriate grooves into the back of the metal molding. You may need to loosen the screw in the mount before you can insert it properly into the groove. Tighten the screw on each mount to secure. Once you have your mount secured, thread one side of the wire through the first mount of your choice, giving yourself about an extra inch or so and wind the extra back around the long side of the wire. Thread the other end of the wire through the opposite mount and pull through. With your finger in the middle of the wire, push gently to create a V-shape and check that when you hang the frame, the wire has some give to carry the weight of the frame securely. Then secure the second side by winding the end of the wire around itself. Clip any excess wire. If you're choosing to display your artwork on the tabletop, here's how to easily attach the easel mate. For a wood frame, the first step is to attach the included felt pad to the underside of the easel mate's long end. Then turn over your frame and align the bracket to the center of the bottom of your wood frame. Line it up with the bottom edge of the frame. Attach the easel mate to the frame with the included black screws using a Phillips head screwdriver through the open slots at the bottom of the easel mate bracket.
For a metal frame, attach the included felt pad to the underside of the easel mate's long end. Align the bracket side to the middle of the bottom side of the metal frame track. Insert the included silver screws into the threaded holes and tighten to securely attach the easel mate bracket to the frame. Here's one final tip. If you're choosing to hang your picture, please be sure to use the wall bumpers that are included in your hanging kit. When attached to the lower two corners of your picture, it can help protect your wall from damage and also keep your picture frame remaining level. That's it guys, you did it. Now you're ready to hang your picture. Thank you for watching. For any questions or to order your custom handcrafted frames, please give us a call at 972-479-1188 or chat with us on our website or email us at info at framedestination.com.